Hi everyone, welcome to this video. Today we are going to talk about a fascinating phenomenon that occurs regularly in our solar system, eclipses. These spectacular celestial events have fascinated people for thousands of years. In this video, we'll tell you all about the different types of eclipses, how they happen and how to observe them. Let's start with what is an eclipse. An eclipse is an astronomical phenomenon that occurs when light from one celestial body is blocked by another celestial body. There are two main types of eclipses, solar eclipses and lunar eclipses. A solar eclipse occurs when the moon goes between the Earth and the sun, blocking the sunlight. During a total solar eclipse, the moon completely covers the solar disk, creating partial or total darkness on Earth. Partial solar eclipses occur when the moon covers only part of the sun. Conversely, a lunar eclipse occurs when the Earth comes between the sun and the moon, blocking the sunlight that is reflected by the moon. During a total lunar eclipse, the moon is cast in the Earth's shadow, giving it a reddish tint. Partial lunar eclipses occur when only part of the moon is in the Earth's shadow. Unfortunately, eclipses occur because of the alignment of celestial bodies. Because the orbits of the Earth and Moon around the Sun are not perfectly aligned, eclipses do not occur at every new and full Moon. They only occur when the Moon is at a specific point in its orbit, called the lunar node. Let's take a closer look at solar eclipses. As we said, solar eclipses occur when the Moon comes between the Earth and the Sun, blocking some or all of the sunlight. There are three types of solar eclipses. They can be total, partial, or annular. During a total solar eclipse, the Moon completely covers the solar disk. This occurs when the Moon is at an optimal distance from the Earth and its angular diameter is large enough to completely cover the Sun. When the eclipse is total, observers can see the solar corona, an aura of plasma that surrounds the Sun, as well as the brightest stars. Partial Solar Eclipse During a partial solar eclipse, the Moon covers only part of the Sun. Annular Solar Eclipse during an annular solar eclipse, the Moon does not completely cover the solar disk, creating a ring of fire around the Moon. This occurs when the Moon is further from the Earth and its angular diameter is insufficient to completely cover the Sun. And lunar eclipses? They occur when the Earth comes between the Sun and the Moon, creating a shadow on the Moon. They occur only during a full Moon, and when the Moon is opposite the Sun in relation to the Earth. When a lunar eclipse occurs, the Moon can appear in different colors, from brick red to blood red. This is called the Blood Moon or Red Moon, and it is caused by the scattering of sunlight in the Earth's atmosphere. The color of the Moon during a lunar eclipse depends on the amount of particles in the Earth's atmosphere and their scattering of light. There are two types of lunar eclipses, total and partial. Total Lunar Eclipse During a total lunar eclipse, the Moon moves entirely into the Earth's shadow, creating partial or total darkness on the Moon. A total lunar eclipse can last up to three hours. Partial Lunar Eclipse During a partial lunar eclipse, only a portion of the Moon enters the Earth's shadow. Lunar eclipses are more common than solar eclipses and are visible from a much wider geographic area. However, they are often less spectacular because they do not radically change the appearance of the Moon. Eclipses have fascinated human beings for thousands of years, and have been recorded in many ancient cultures and historical texts. The earliest observations of eclipses date back to ancient times, and were documented in the cuneiform tablets of Mesopotamia, Egyptian and Chinese texts, and the works of Aristotle and Plato. In many cultures, eclipses were considered omens, divine warnings, or signs of bad luck. The ancient Chinese believed that eclipses were caused by a dragon swallowing the sun or moon. And the Greeks believed that eclipses were signs of the wrath of the gods. In some cultures, eclipses were also seen as times of purification or spiritual renewal. Eclipses have also played an important role in the history of astronomy. In the 16th century, the Danish astronomer Tycho Brahe used an eclipse to accurately measure the position of the moon in relation to the stars, a method that led to the development of accurate models of the solar system. Later, in the 19th century, eclipses allowed the discovery of new chemical elements in the sun's atmosphere, such as helium. Even today eclipses have a great scientific and cultural value. 
They allow to understand the physics of the universe. Solar eclipses have played an important role in the understanding of the universe for the study of the curvature of space-time, general relativity and the properties of light. They also allow the study of the Earth's atmosphere. During a total solar eclipse, the moon blocks direct sunlight, so scientists take advantage of this to study the effects of the Earth's atmosphere on sunlight. Another of these benefits is the measurement of the distance between the Earth and the Moon as well as to study the lunar geology and the composition of the Moon's surface. To finish this video, here are some tips for viewing an eclipse. Use special eclipse glasses. It is essential to protect your eyes when viewing an eclipse, as direct sunlight can cause permanent eye damage. If you are viewing an eclipse through binoculars or a telescope, consider using a solar filter to protect your eyes. Choose a location where you can see the eclipse without being obstructed by trees or buildings. Make sure you have a clear view of the sky. Be patient. During an eclipse, there may be periods of darkness followed by periods of light. Wait for the eclipse to reach its peak. It is important to note that some eclipses are only visible in certain parts of the world, or are only partially visible from certain areas. So check to see if you will be able to view the eclipse from your area, and if so, at what time it will occur. Enjoy the show. Once you are safe and have found the right place to watch, relax and enjoy the show. These are beautiful events that can create lasting memories. Eclipses are fascinating astronomical phenomena that occur regularly in our solar system. They have dazzled the eyes of young and old alike for thousands of years and will continue to impress our future generations. I hope you enjoyed this video about eclipses. If you did, feel free to leave a like and ask your questions in the comments, I will be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching.